Who's ready to go to Glacier National Park? This guy is. Glacier National Park. We just got our tent set up back here in the woods. I don't know if you can hear. Mother Nature is not happy. And right up this path right here outside of a camp, there's a bear print in the ground. It looks like what is a grizzly. Let's go take a look. Severe thunderstorm rolling in. He was going up this direction. It's right here. You can see his track marks, or his uh, claws. Right here's a claw, another one, another one, another one. It's about the size of my hand. So, as you can see, there's some trails up and through here in the woods. Some big bears by our camp. Here we are, we're hiking Hidden Lake Trail. Glacier National Park. Uh, it's really windy, rainy, and cold. And this is where we're going. Straight up there. We got some uh, little waterfalls and some snowpack up here. And some wildflowers. So far we haven't seen any wildlife, but hopefully we'll see something soon. Hi, you know Beautiful. Here we are, just arriving at the Hidden Lake Trail in uh, Overlook. All right, it's our third morning, which is this long, elevated wooden plank walkway, and which is going to be branching off onto Avalanche Creek or Avalanche Lake Trail. It's about eight miles round trip. We're uh, hiking first thing in the morning here, in hopes that we will. Ooh, got that waterfall. Hopes that we would see uh, some grizzly bears or something, because being out first uh, thing is when you're most likely going to see them. Look at the awesome waterfalls. Real cool. This is uh, this is Avalanche Lake Trail that we're gonna take now. All right, I might have misjudged the uh, mileage into Avalanche Lake. From I said eight miles. I think it's about three miles in, three miles out. So six mile round trip. So let's journey up this trail here. Lake Trail is pretty cool so far. We've been running along the uh, river here. We've got some cool terrain here to navigate. How is it, Dad? Nice. All right, I feel like we are in prime grizzly bear territory. I've seen caves all up in these rocks. Still no sign of any wildlife though. Saw one squirrel. <laughs> and some birds.
All right, we've arrived at Avalanche Lake. Today we are hiking the Grinnell Glacier Trail and to get to the trail we are taking a boat. Beautiful day out here today. This is Lake Josephine. How did they get this boat back in here? I'll answer that question here in about oh. five minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. If I don't, like I told another fella, make sure you ask me again. Sounds good. Where the black bear on the other end has more pointed, erect ears. Think of that almost like of a German shepherd. That's the type of ears black bears have. Now, I've been told that the teeth of a grizzly are different from that of a black bear, but if you're going to try to identify the bear in front of you by the teeth, you're already having a really bad day at this particular point. Miles. This is why as you're driving along from uh, eastern Montana, you're driving along to the prairie and the grassland there, you're driving along, then all of a sudden, boom, not one of the biggest. Um, go, go to the Sun Road, I think it is Jackson Glacier. It's one of those that you can actually see fairly well, which is a lot longer. All right, Dad, ready to go? Hey, I'm all ready for this adventure. <laughs> all right, leaving the boat behind and heading on in to Grenache, Grinnell, Glacier Trail. All right, here we are. Look at this little trail we're on right now, a little boardwalk. There goes the boat over there, leaving us into the middle of the wilderness. 800 some grizzlies are back in here. And one of them can pop out at any moment. That is why, guys, I'll show you what I got. This is what I have. I got my bear spray. This right here they say is better than a gun. It's like pepper spray for really big bad bears. Look at up there, there's Grinnell. That's Salamander Glacier. Straight up there. In between the trees you see up there. Grinnell, or that's uh, yeah, Salamander Glacier. And we're going to Grinnell Glacier. We got this cool bridge to walk across. This right now is by far one of the most scenic, one of the most scenic uh, trails that we've been on. If you guys see any grizzly, let me know. All right, so we're climbing up the mountainside here. That's Lake Josephine where we took the boat up through. Now if you can see right down there, we got that's the uh, bridge we came across earlier. And uh, continuing up. So basically I think saying goodbye to Lake Josephine for the view, continuing onward. All right, we are getting some of our first views of Grinnell Lake. Right down there. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the Continental Divide. That uh, whole ridge line up there. And all right there, that's the Continental Divide. When the water hits that peak, it either flows eventually to the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. Pretty cool. Looking on a sheer cliff. Thousands of feet down off my left side here. Coming up. Getting a lot of elevation here and it's getting cooler up here, which is nice. Still looking for the almighty grizzly bear. Not finding it. <laughs> If you guys see one, don't make direct eye contact with it. Making direct eye contact with the bear is bad. But what I was wondering, what if you got sunglasses on? I think then it's all right. Bear? Is it a bear? I think it's a bear. Oh gosh, there goes the bear. It's 
like a natural staircase here. Oh, it feels good, the water. Nice and cool. You guys, I'm a pilot. you think I would be not afraid of heights, but I am. Well, I'm now up by the waterfalls. You can see right over here. Oh. I don't even know how much elevation gain I've done in this hike, but it is an enormous amount. So, uh, I'm really getting my exercise. I wish I had my Apple Watch on. It always tells me how lazy I am. Well, today should be, Siri would be proud of me. All right guys, after three hours of hiking, I think we're about here. I think we are at the lake, our destination. Let's take, oh my goodness, look at this guys. Well worth it. Beautiful. Three hours, but this is awesome. They're actually swimming down here. I can't believe they were swimming. Anthony, get this on video. I got it. This whole thing's on video. Oh. <laughs> not deep, not deep. <laughs> I got it a lot faster too. It was chilly. Good job, guys. Let me show you this. It's old. <laughs> it's like a barn door here to get in. This is our room for the night. Look at this, guys. We've got two twin beds. There's a fan for circulation of air. There's no air conditioner. We have a balcony. Look at this nice view. We've got our balcony here. Very cool. Everybody's down getting drinks. You can watch the sunset, it looks like. And uh, everybody's sitting out on their balconies. Really cool. So this is where we're going to spend the night tonight. We were going to camp right over there at the campground, but it was full. So we got the last room here at the lodge. It's uh, pretty cool. Alright guys, I was about to end the day here, but I just looked, got in here and look at this. This whole complex system on the shower, they give you instructions on how to turn your shower on. You have to first A, turn A handle upwards, I don't know, you see A handle, and then B, you set the temperature by turning B, then you go three, push the E to continue to the B, to the left turn for hot water, then you push C inwards, then you turn D upwards, and then you turn A downwards, now you'll have to wait in the, until the water gets in the main shower head and then you go by pulling the sea outwards water will come out in the, sm the small shower head. When you're done simply pull the sea out, turn D horizontally and turn A upwards. I don't know guys, this is a little bit beyond. <laughs> this is like starting an airplane. Alright, today we're going to do Swift Current Pass and we're going to hike into Swift Current Valley Trail. Is that it? Yeah. So yep. here we go. The gist of this trail that we're on right now, Swift Current Pass, is uh, we're going right on the trail right here. And the trail's going to take us all the way up through there. That's where we're going right now. Alright, here we are about halfway down Swift Current Pass. We stopped for a little lunch break on this beautiful lake. Uh, Came across it. We're sitting in this nice little grassy area right here around the lake. And that's our view for lunch. It's pretty good. 
And right over there, there's some falls. You're probably going to see that up next. We'll be hiking up over that direction. All right, here we are arriving at Red Rock Falls. That bear, our first bear of the trip. We're sitting here on uh, Red Rock Falls right here. And where the bear came out was right down here. And now, right now, he's over right in this area. So I'm sitting here with my camera, just uh, waiting for him to hopefully come back out again. I think it was a black bear. Uh, I, was hope I was hoping to see a grizzly. Maybe we'll still see one here. But uh, anyway. I'm going to sit here and keep an eye out for a little bit longer and hopefully he comes back. Alright, so we waited about another hour there and the bear came back once. I didn't have the camera out in time to see him. So we're going to continue on here and uh, hike up the trail here. A little river over here. This is prime bear habitat, so I'm hoping we'll see one more. So we'll continue on up the trail. Alright guys, we were walking back here in the middle of nowhere on this trail and we came across the moose here. Pretty cool, I'll take a look. So the Swift Current Pass Trail has been really cool. Lots of wildlife on this trail. It's probably been one of my favorites. So. All, right. All right guys, we've been walking on this trail for quite a long time and we are in the middle of grizzly territory area here. As you can see, look at this. This is all bear scat right down in there. See that? We're going to continue walking. Look at it. Here's more of it. They're eating blueberries or the huckleberries is what they're eating. And this is what our trail looks like and there's no visibility right off the trail. I mean, it's just pure woods and brush where bears love to go. And as you can see, look at this, more scat. And it's uh, in the middle of the bear country. So we're probably gonna do a U-turn now and continue back because we're pretty far in the back country here. And when you can't see, 10 feet off the trail in this kind of atmosphere with all this bear scat. We only have one can of bear spray, so we're most likely going to turn around on this tr trail today. We've got a long ways to go this back this direction through this bear country, so yeah, overall, Swift Current Pass Trail was pretty cool. Lots of wildlife. Alright, guys, one week in Glacier National Park. Camping, hiking is complete. We're uh, back at Missoula here. We're about to take the shuttle van back to the airport. It was fun having you guys with us and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.